everyone. Today we would like to talk about vein. Vein is a type of blood vessel. Blood vessels serve two functions. First, to transport materials. Second, to do material exchange. And for the vein, it serves the function transport materials. You can see the general plan of human circulatory system and you can find there are different veins. Here, here, here and here are all the veins. They are all connected back to the heart. And I prepare a cross section of a vein for you to take a look. The veins serve the function that send back the blood to the heart, but it needs to overcome some difficulty. First, as it is far away from the heart, as you can see, the heart is here and it comes a long way to the vein, so it is a very long distance already. And the pumping action of the heart actually cannot, cannot provide a high blood pressure in vein, so the blood pressure in vein is low. On the other hand, sometimes the blood needs to be sent from the lower part of the body up to the heart. It is anti-gravity. To move against the gravity is not easy. In such low blood pressure situations inside the vein, there must be another force to push the blood back to the heart. The force is the contraction of the skeletal muscle. Let's take a look at my hand. Now my hand is moving. My hand moves because the contractions of the skeletal muscle. When my hand moves, the contractions of the skeletal muscle will squeeze the vein near them. The squeezing generates a force to push the blood inside the vein back to the heart. What is actually happening? Let's take a look. It is a vein, and my hands are the skeletal muscle. And when the skeletal muscle contract, it will squeeze the vein, just like this, squeeze. Contract and contract. It is not the vein contracting, but it's the skeletal muscle adjacent to the vein contract. It will squeeze and push the blood inside. Okay, let me keep reminding you, vein connected to the heart, and the major function of the vein is to send the blood back to the heart. Sometimes it needs to anti-gravity, so it's job send back the blood, okay? Now when the skeletal muscle contract, the vein will be squeezed. Wait, this should be some problem. The contraction of the skeletal muscle will push the blood up to the heart and down back to the lower body. That is a problem because we only want to send the blood back to the heart. In order to solve this problem and make sure the blood only flow back to the heart but not to another direction, there is a structure found in the vein. It is called the valves. You always see this diagram on the book, but what actually is valve? If I cut the vein in this way, it provides the longitudinal section of the vein. And let's take a look. Here is the wall. And also this is the lumen of the vein. And you can see the valves here. The blue thing is the valves. The structure is the valves. Let's take a closer look at the valves. Now you can see this the valves. And here is the valves. And the status of the valves is now open. This is open. So when the valves open, the blood can flow through it. And when the valves is closed, the blood cannot flow through it and will be locked inside. Let's take a look how the blood flows through the veins with valves. The green ball representing the blood. When the contraction of skeletal muscles happened, the blood will be squeezed and the blood will push the two valves. As you can see in the slow motion video, the blood can only escape through these valves. It will push the valves open, but not the valves at the back. 
You may say, are you creating these illusions to me? But I can prove for you. If I put the ball here, the valves won't open. But if I put in the other direction, the valves will open and the blood can go out. Now, let me repeat the whole story. There are valves inside the vein. When the adjacent skeletal muscle contract, it squeezes the blood inside, and the blood will push the valves near the heart to open, and the unidirectional blood flow is achieved. There are other features of the veins that can help it perform its functions, which is send the blood back to the heart. Inside the vein, the blood pressure is low, and the blood flow velocity is low as well. In order to keep the functions working, the vein has some features. First of all, it got a large lumen. Lumen is the space that allows the blood to go through. And the large lumen provides a low resistance, which can make sure the blood can flow easier. Moreover, the vein got thin wall. Compared to artery, the wall of the vein is thinner and it got less elastic fiber. Let's summarize what we have learned. Vein is the vessel to send the blood back to the heart, and in the vein, the blood pressure is low and the blood flow velocity is slow. In order to perform the function well, the vein got some features. First of all, the vein got a very large lumen compared to artery. The large lumen reduced the resistance, so it, the blood can flow easier. Second, thin wall. It got a thin wall. Also, it has less elastic fiber compared to artery. The contractions of skeletal muscle generate the main driving force to push the blood to flow back to the heart. In order to prevent the backflow of blood, valves can be found inside veins. After this lesson, hope you understand how the veins do their job.